my channel, Nurse Rachel and Crafts. Today I'm bringing you a pulse review of a painting that I did earlier this year. This is Cottage by the Sea by Chuck Pinson. This is a square diamond painting, 74 by 55 centimeters or 29.1 by 21.6 inches. So I'm going to insert some photos here. So this is the original painting that Chuck did. This is how uh, Diamond Art Club rendered it. And then this is what it looks like finished. So really good. They did a good job. The rendering looks exactly how um, the painting ended up coming out, which is awesome. I started this painting March 23rd of this year and finished April 14th. So it took me three weeks to do. I don't think that's a bad time being that um, it is square. So squares do take a bit longer. So I, I was okay with the amount of time that it took. Um, this painting has 42 colors with two ABs. The ABs, if I'm remembering correctly, is a lighter yellow. Here's a shot of that color yellow. And then it's a light orange color. So they look pretty similar though, um, the two colors, but yeah. Diamond Art Club did not provide a total number of drill count for this one. So I don't know how many diamonds I placed on here. I can look up a painting of a similar size and say how many diamonds that one had and I'll put it on the screen now. So that's probably around how many I put on this one. Out of five stars, I rated it a three y'all. I know, I know, I did. I rated it a three. <sighs> I just had some issues with with this one that kind of just took the enjoyment away. So yeah, I'll get into why I rated it a three now. All right, so I rated it a three, not due to the image. The image is beautiful. Um, that's why I bought it. <laughs> you know, I love I love the image. I rate these based on the experience while doing it, how I feel, my enjoyment level. Is it bringing me a peace of mind? And this was not one of my favorites. Um, the main reason, y'all, is it, it was the trash drills. Um, a good thing about Chuck is he really doesn't use a lot of 310s, so that's awesome. However, he uses a lot of 3371, that dark, dark, dark chocolate brown. And honestly, y'all, that can be just as bad as a 310. So this painting is full and covered in that color, 3371. So a lot of trash. Um, there's a lot of dark brown colors in this one. And again, more trash. So... I spent a lot of time picking out trash drills because, you know, with squares, if you don't, it pushes all your lines out of alignment and, you know, we don't want that. So that was the main reason. The second reason, which was almost exactly um, as upsetting, was the lack of colors. So I know it looks super colorful here, but y'all at least three quarters of this painting is dark a lot of dark colors a lot of brown a lot of neutral and it just got really boring um i i don't know why i didn't realize that in the beginning but you know what y'all this was my first square that i had done in first big large painting so all i knew was that i enjoyed the overall image i saw all that blue and the pinks and stuff and didn't really realize how much dark color was in it so that was on me so yeah it was just the lack of brightness in color um let's see it's a lot of confetti 
extreme amount of confetti and at the time I was used to doing a lot of color blocking so I couldn't really do that with this one um so yeah those were like my main reasons why I didn't like it reasons why I did like it though is it's very sparkly and shiny y'all it's super pretty um yeah I mean it's just it's beautiful <laughs> it's a beautiful painting y'all so yeah yeah that was my reasons other than that it's beautiful um I'm still a fan of Chuck I love his art um yeah super beautiful oh and in the sky too there's supposed to be two shades of pink in that sky y'all those colors are identical I just ended up mixing them and you can't even tell the difference but yeah other than that super beautiful and I love it so yeah I thank you guys for watching I really do appreciate it and I'll have some more post reviews coming soon y'all until next time bye